Mr. Ian Blackford. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We are now 14 days into Putin's war, and in that time, I have generally tried to work constructively with the UK government, and I will continue to seek to do this. However, nobody should support this government when it comes to the response to the refugee crisis. 760 visa approvals in two weeks is disgraceful. In that time, Poland has taken over 1.2 million refugees. Hungary has taken over 190,000 refugees. Germany has taken over 50,000 refugees. Italy, over 7,000 refugees. Ireland, a country of just over 5 million people, has given sanctuary to three times as many refugees as the United Kingdom. These numbers don't lie. They tell a devastating truth. Does the Prime Minister find it acceptable that his Home Secretary has overseen one of the slowest, most bureaucratic and incompetent refugee responses in the whole of Europe? Yeah. Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I think everybody sympathises with the plight of, of refugees, and, in the, and uh, this Government wants to do everything we can to, to welcome them, and, and that is indeed what we are doing. And the numbers are uh, almost a thousand as I speak to, uh, to him today, and they will rise very sharply, Mr Speaker. Uh, the, they are uncapped. We expect those numbers to rise uh, to, uh, in the region of the hundreds of thousands. Uh, as, as, the, uh, as Vladimir Putin doubles down in his attacks, we will go further, Mr Speaker and there will be uh, routes by which the whole country can offer, uh, offer a welcome uh, to people from uh, Ukraine, vulnerable people fleeing uh, from Ukraine. And my right hon. Friend, the Secretary of State uh, for, uh, for levelling up, will be setting out that route in the course of the next few days. This Government has a proud, proud record. We have done more to resettle vulnerable people than any other European country since 2015. Ian Blackford. I don't think the Prime Minister understands the scale of the challenge or the urgency. These are people fleeing war crimes, torn apart from their families as their homes are shelled, and the Home Secretary is blocking them with endless paperwork. This isn't just incompetence, this is ideology. In the face of the biggest refugee crisis in Europe since the Second World War, the UK Government won't set aside the hostile environment. And by the way, we're seeing the hostile environment this afternoon. They might quieten down a bit. We've seen this too many times from a Tory Home Office. The Windrush scandal, the Go Home vans, the inhumane Nationality and Borders Bill. The UK Home Office is raising barriers and bureaucracy when we should be offering care and compassion. Prime Minister, do not let the history of failure repeat itself. Scotland stands ready to offer sanctuary and refuge. So will the Prime Minister join with the rest of the European continent and waive the visa restrictions for refugees fleeing war in Ukraine? Prime Minister. 